Hello, and welcome to Henrico EDA's Business Spotlight Series. Today we're speaking with Ann Goddard, head of Child Fund International. Join us as she talks about the 75 year old nonprofit organization, why the cause is dear to her heart, and her plans to lead it into the future. I'm Ann Lynam Goddard. I'm president and CEO of Child Fund International. Child Fund was born in 1938 as China Children's Fund. We were started by a Presbyterian minister from the Henrico area, Dr. J. Calvert Clark, and his goal was to help children suffering from the Second Sino-Japanese War. We've changed our name many times over the years. We went from China Children's Fund to Christian Children's Fund. We're now Child Fund International, and we're celebrating our 75th anniversary. Our focus is, has remained the same on children, but we've really targeted our focus even more. Our goal is to help children survive and thrive and to have the opportunity and the skills to give back to their community. We work with children, their families, their communities, local organizations in more than 30 countries around the world. Tell us about your journey in becoming the head of Child Fund International. I was a Peace Corps volunteer more than 30 years ago. I can't believe that sometimes. I was sent as a volunteer to Kenya in East Africa. I was put in a very remote, tiny little village, lived in a mud house, had no electricity, very little running water. It was influential on me because I really got to see and experience poverty close up on an everyday life, how people experience, how much a struggle it was to get food, to get health care. Um, to have their kids go to school, and there were children um, dying from malnutrition at that time. It definitely made a big impact to me. I pursued my career after graduate school in international development, and I did live for almost 20 years in East Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. And in international development, I was always po focused on poverty alleviation. But finally, after almost 20 years, what drew me back was always family. My family's up and down on the East Coast, so Virginia was a great location to come to, particularly because my son was already a student at Virginia Tech at the time. I felt it was kind of fate to come back to this area and live in Virginia. It was a great honor to be offered the opportunity to lead Child Fund. So this was an organization that had long roots, a lot of capacity, a lot of outreach, a lot of connections with communities all over the developing world. So I felt it was a great honor and opportunity to come and lead the organization into the future. What is it about Henrico that makes it an ideal location for you and your organization? I think of the Henrico region as being a big, small region, which is what I really like about it. It's big in terms of there are big companies here. It's an, it's an area that thinks big. It has an international focus to it, which is very important to us as an international organization. It has an airport nearby, um, which is important when we're flying all over the world as I do for work. But yet it has a small part to it. It's neighborly, it's community focused. I, I know people now, I don't feel like a stranger. An interesting part of my story is um, when I moved here in January of 2007, it was only a few months, less than three months after that, that the terrible shooting at Virginia Tech occurred. Unfortunately, my son was one of the injured students, but a survivor. I was so touched by the outpouring of support and kindness from the greater Henrico and Richmond community. People dropped presents over my house, here at the office. I was at prayers being offered, um, Afghans being crocheted, you know, food at my house, from people that I didn't even know. I'd only been here three months. I was so touched by that. One of the things that's very good for Child Fund being in the Henrico community is the ability to attract and employ really talented individuals. And I think that's a strong attribute for Henrico. It is easy for us to recruit people uh, to transfer to live in the Henrico area if we've recruited someone from outside the area because it, there is a very high quality standard of living. There are great schools. There are more things happening for younger single people too in the area. It's a big art scene, um, and I think that's great. What do you see for the future of your organization? So we're looking at several things in terms of uh, how to increase our contribution to helping children. Child Fund is launching a great campaign, Unlocking Potential, the first kind of campaign we've ever done. And what it really is focusing on is providing early childhood development opportunities to a million children in six different countries around the world. 
So it's really focusing on the zero to five age span and really helping kids be healthy, um, start, have a good start in life with education, but also really focusing on parental um, education and training and, and also on reducing any kind of violence in the home for the children. We're here to build the capacity of the child so they're healthy, they're educated, and they grow up, they have skills, they can be leaders in their community, and they're willing and able to give back to their community. We need to connect that work with the work of others who are doing economic development in the country, who are working to improve the schools in the country, who are working to improve the infrastructure of the country. There has been a lot of improvements over the years, um, and not everybody can see that from a distance, but less children are dying, less children are malnourished, more children in the developing world are going to school. It's great um, for Child Fund to really look at how we can help children not only survive, but also thrive, so they can be contributing members to their communities. Thank you for watching Henrico Economic Development Authority's Spotlight Series. If you have any questions concerning Henrico or would like information on doing business in the region, please contact us by mail, email, or phone.